Here for you with Joshua Bolden. Folks, we begin this half hour with city politicians, both career and first timers, gearing up for city council elections, both in Bluefield, West Virginia and Princeton, West Virginia. This morning, WVVA's Rob Castillo is speaking with candidates in Princeton to learn more about what they are bringing to the table. We're going to turn to this. The U.S. Justice Department announced civil action against James C. Justice III. That's Governor Jim Justice's son. Civil action against him and the 13 coal companies that are under his ownership. We are learning more this afternoon about various communities in Fayette and Greenbrier counties hit by flash flooding. Fayette County Commissioner Allison Taylor telling WVVA's Annie Moore that the community of Smithis, West Virginia, appears to be one of the hardest hit. Bluefield police say that shots were fired into a car at the intersection of Route 460 and Cumberland Road around 11 in the evening on Wednesday. And a 13-year-old girl was inside that car. She was taken to Princeton Community Hospital and later to Charleston, where she died. But we have an update regarding the shots fired incident that interrupted what was supposed to be a family-friendly annual chili festival in Beckley, West Virginia, over the weekend. This happened on Saturday. According to Deputy Chief David Allard, the man on your screen right now, Colton Eric Atkins, has been arrested and charged with five counts of wanton endangerment. I think it's excellent. I think that... Uh, that's one of the things that we have neglected is our children to keep them abreast on how this country operates and how this country survives. Seven red stripes, six white ones, and 50 stars, all waving proudly. It is the symbol flying high on flagpoles across our nation. But for the last 30 years or so, the pole in front of 1400 Highland Avenue in Bluefield, West Virginia, has stood a barren. And we had a flagpole, we needed a flag. That is where the VFW Post 9696 in Bluefield, Virginia, stepped in with a flag donation. It's a, we've got the best country in the world. And to keep that away, the one thing we have to do is we have to keep our patriotism up. That's, a, that's just the way it is. Betty Brainerd of the Wade Center says this flag will teach the generations. When you see a veteran or when you see a police officer or when you see a fireman, you need to recognize that. So they've been excited, the children have, they've been practicing their Pledge of Allegiance, which they did an excellent job. One nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. Here for you in Bluefield, West Virginia, Joshua Bolden, WVVA News. It's not what you're used to. No. What are you used to? Just a regular school bus that's really loud. I mean, it was really quiet. Many are echoing school athlete and Princeton Senior High School student Haley Collins' sentiment. As the wheels on this bus still go round and round, but for the next six weeks in Mercer County, West Virginia, this bus is electric, traveling up to 150 miles on a single charge. Uh, almost all of the kids comment on, on how quiet the ride is, how smooth. And uh, interestingly enough, they didn't comment on the fact that there wasn't any diesel emissions. While the students may not have commented on it, a special guest passenger, also known as their school superintendent, Dr. Ed Toman, did. You know, there's no diesel sound, but you got a little bell that is set, like, I think, at 20 miles an hour. So until you get to 20 miles an hour, the little bell rings. It sounds like a trolley. And the kids were excited. Like I said, it was, it was neat being on the bus. Mercer, along with Cabell and Canal Counties in the Mountain State, are testing these buses from Green Power Motors Company, surveying how efficient and effective they are. Bus driver Tony White knows this is a historic moment. Change doesn't bother me. Uh, this bus, I was excited. I was Actually, I was anxious and because uh, I'd seen it sitting there. I like to try new things, but this, this fits. <laughs> with roughly 80 buses in the county's care, time will tell if it will be a full-time fit. Here for you in Princeton, Joshua Bolden, WBBA News. I can tell you, the day that they called me from Rural King and said, we just want to let you know that we just fed extra deed overnight. It was a little bit of a surprise. Roughly 25 acres, uh, parking lot, some wooded area, and a 97,000 square foot facility. Walmart and Rural King exited and handed over the building, but its future is coming into focus. So this building, it may be empty right now, but in a matter of time, it's going to be bustling with life. And the mayor of the town of Kimball tells me he's really excited to have the prospects come in the door.
So there is the option to potentially break this space down. There's the option that one manufacturing facility could go in here. I would like to see a contract or a lease or something, even in the be beginning stages, sometime probably in the middle of the year. Other than repairing a few skylights, leaking when it rains, and minor cosmetic adjustments, it is structurally sound, even retaining its safety and security infrastructure. Because anything that happens in this building will affect everybody in this county and some of southern West Virginia because the revenue, the taxes, uh, the jobs, anything that can happen here will grow out. Here for you and Kimball, Joshua Bolden, WVVA News. And Josh, what a cold morning it's yes. been. Yes, let me tell you. Okay, so I opened the door, right? Getting ready to walk out, come to work. And I felt like I got punched by Rocky because that, that cold temp, it packs a punch. And Colin, you know, the last time we, out, we were out here, it wasn't like this. Yeah. This is a lot more snow. <laughs> it's a lot colder. I feel the wind just cutting through me right now. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You want to come on out to the Princeton Walmart today? We're going to be here to 11 p.m. You can come on out. This is the 75th year for Toys for Tots, and we want you to be a blessing. Bicycles. Bicycles, Bicycles. are a big thing. You've got the spotty bike. Oh, yeah. Minor I've, child. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I've got one for a little bit of an older child, but things like this. And Christina, it is all about the numbers this half hour. I don't have a fancy graphic system like Catherine Maxwell mm -hmm. over there, but I do have a pen and paper, and today's number of the day well, is 53. 53. Because you know what 53 means? 53 days until... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what happened to your because it's another beautiful sunny day out there. How long are we going to hold on to these beautiful conditions? I mean, just look at that. Colin, behind you, Burke's Garden looks like it's a canvas in itself. Yeah, it really is. It's a gorgeous scene, right? Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and with that, we say buenos dias, ah. amigos. Gracias por acompañarnos esta mañana. Estamos muy emocion emocionados hoy. Here for you with Joshua Bolden.